I can't believe we made it. Are the people nice here? Nobody will attack us here, Hugo. This town is under the protection of the Count of Provence. He's a very powerful lord. I must say, this is beautiful. Are you sure the alchemist is waiting for us? Well, Magister Vaudan told me he'd prepared a house for us. An entire house? Yes. The Order is very old. They own houses and much, much more. They built your mother's laboratory and even the Chateau d'Ombrage, remember? Yes. It's nice they give us a house. That's because you're very important to them. Would His Majesty allow us to enter the city by his side? I allow. Go take a quick look with him. Thank you. The house is in the upper part of town. It has a phoenix weather vane. Understood. And be very careful. Find anything you like? I like everything here. <laughs> Come, there must be plenty of other things to see. Where do we start? Well, what do you want to see? Everything! We'll try. <laughs> goat milk! Fresh goat milk on demand! These are all wines and liqueurs made from the plants of our hills. Hello, piggies. Roasted meat. Come taste it. The Count Victor of Arles welcomes you all to the yearly fair of St. John. Enjoy goods from our region and beyond at the market. Make deals at our fish auction and try your skills in a free session of a shooting game. Tomorrow's event is the long-awaited cow fair. Get ready to overbid. The Count Victor of Arles wishes you all an excellent St. John's fair. I should check that stand. My stocks are getting low. Have you seen? What? The people here. They're smiling. Uh, <laughs> it's true. I need a new dress. Oh, a cheap one. Oh, look up there. The house with the weather vane. That's ours. Oh, right above the market. Yes. The view will be amazing. Swords. Well, wouldn't you like one? No, I still don't like them. But you know how to fight. Swords are for killing. Rashes and combs from Firenze. Try them. My lady, why not change your hairstyle? Thank you, but I like it like this. Oh, good for you. A woman's hair is her righteous crown. Beautifully said. Her hair is nice like that. Well, thank you, sir. Come on. This time. 
This is some really beautiful furniture here. I had a closet locked up to my room. I like to hide in it. <laughs> of course you did. Just look at these colours. <gasps> look at these colours. Look at the colours. Just imagine the clothes you can make with this. The most look, beautiful flowers. You can be sure. oh, yes. Are you interested in any? <laughs> I'm interested in too many. Shoes. Oh, goes. Primroses. Oh. You know your herbarium. Only flowers. My mummy taught me. We kept them in a book at home. Do you want to buy flowers then? Thank you, but we like to pick them in the wild. It's our thing. I understand. Enjoy. Yes. His parents must be dragons. A man dragon! Exactly. I'm sure Lucas could spit fire too. Of course. He's perfidious. Let's go see our house. It should be right up here. Oh, we can share my room if you want. Don't you want your own? Mm, I don't know. But that way we could invite each other to our rooms. Yes. I love this place. <laughs> Me too. Oh, they're playing music. you up on my shoulders, all right? Oh, yes, please. Here we go. You're feeling all right up there? Yes, I can see everything. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Great! They're so good! All right, young man, we should go see that house. Oh, already? Yes. Mother must be waiting for us. I wish we could stay a bit more. We'll come back. Things. Everything that's happening outside. I think they do know. They just feel safe here. You will too. Hey, I'm going to put you down for a bit. <clears throat> Let's pick up the pace. Yes. I can't wait to see the house. I wonder how big it is. I just hope they have real beds. I hope I can see the market from my room. A king's room, of course. Of course. <laughs> Someone's had a long day. You're back. So how was it? They've got everything. <laughs> it's true. We'll have to go back all together. Sure. We need some fresh herbs. Look at that. I think we can call it home. Yes. Home. I haven't said that word in a while. I'm glad we came. <sighs> and I think someone needs to take a nap. I'm not tired. <laughs> sure. Let's go see inside. This is our door. Ooh. It looks quiet. And it's less hot here. It's nice. Ready to come inside? Yes, lead the way. We're home, Hugo. Our new home. Let's take a look around. Mm. Yes. All right. We'll do that later. Mother, where's Hugo's room? He's exhausted. Upstairs. The bed is ready. Thanks. Come on, you sleepy beast. You 
You must come with me, Sia. Come where? The island. You'll be healed there too. Healed? Well, that would be nice, I'm sure. It will be. You're thinking too much. Sometimes it's better just to trust your feelings. I'm trying, but I... I get stuck in the logic of it. Substances obey natural law. The macula does too. You don't need logic, Lucas. You just need to be human. Maybe... <sighs> I'm just not very good at being human. You are. This is why you have doubts. Today must have woken it. We had six months of respite after he passed the second threshold. But the balance of his blood is very delicate. Amicia, go with Lucas. Magister Vaudan is somewhere in this town. Find him and tell him to come quickly. Right away. Amicia. I know. We'll be careful. It's because of those farmers. I should never. Oh. It's not your fault. How can you be so sure? You can't control what happens in his blood. The macula keeps evolving, pushing the carrier through different thresholds. Will this Magister Vodan really help? The Order has been studying the macula for centuries. If they can't, I don't know who can. Lord, protect him. Why hasn't Vodan shown up already? I think he's just being discreet. The order works like this. Someone must know about him. Let's ask around. Here, a town guard. I'll ask him. Uh, hello? Excuse me. Would you know the whereabouts of Magister Vodan? Uh, I've heard of a Sir Vodan, not a Magister. Try the marketplace. There's a couple of florists there. I think they deal with him from time to time. Thank you. Good. That's a start. I should have known. Of course he doesn't go by his order's title publicly. We came by the florist earlier. It's somewhere around this marketplace. Hello again. Oh, it's you. Looking for flowers for the little one? Actually, I'm looking for Sir Vodan. I believe he's one of your clients. He's my husband's client. He's the one who deals in medicinal herbs. Oh, but Morton should be right by the fountain. Just tell him I sent you. He's wearing a brown tunic. Brown tunic. Thank you for your help. Let's hope he tells us. He will. Excuse me, sir. Your wife sent us? Now, what does she want now? I'm busy cleaning this mess. It's not for her. We must find Sir Voda. <laughs> Him? Well, he doesn't like to be bothered. Just like me. Listen, my brother is very sick. We need him immediately. Oh, all right, all right. I don't know precisely where, but I think he lives close to the arena, down there. But don't tell him I sent you. Don't worry. Thank you. Right, let's not waste time. The arena district. 
That's a lot of houses. How are we going to find him? There's mischief in the air. I can feel it. Yes. That's why I keep the children inside. So what would a magister be doing here? Probably hiding. Probably. Amicia, that symbol on the wall. The order? Yes, he's in here. No one gets in. The arena is off limits. Why is that? Because the Count of Provence said so. Get going, please. Listen, I really need to pass. It's all right. Come. We'll go around the arena. <sighs> Now's not the time to argue with soldiers. Let's look around. You're right. Sorry. There's a door up there. Yes! So, ready to break the law? Come on. Is it? The bite, yes. They've locked the arena down. They let them die here. It's starting all over again. Not starting, spreading. Hugo, we brought it here. Let's find Magister Voda. If he's not dead already. I can't believe they left him to rot here. These people look poor. They must be from the slum outside. Nobody noticed their disappearance. Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. Here, another symbol. Well, let's get in then. You think the symbols will lead to him? Yes. Look, an opening up there. There must be a way to climb up. This could help. I'll give you a hand. If Odan's here, he's in trouble. He knows the bite. He must be avoiding the sick. Lucas. If all these people here were bitten, it means... <sighs> Maybe not. A sick person could have brought it inside the city. like a dog. Damn, that's an ugly death. Sounds like a whip. Not sure I want to know. It's nothing. What? That's it. Go away. Again. 
Is this a joke or what? So I was mistaken again. So, any sort of the doctor? <gasps> a doctor? No, that Vodan is pretty good at hiding, I tell you. The boss of me is. Shit. So is there after Vodan too? They think he's a doctor. Oh, just our luck. What if he's here? He didn't make much effort trying to cure these people. Look at that. They're poorer than us. Not a coin. Then stop looting and look for this bloody alchemist. Ah, someone will find him. <laughs>